Hi guys, how you doing? This is Charlie from Track Beast. So I just want to go over this video with you guys. This is going to be a shootout between a 218 ZL1, which was my friend Scott's car, and a 218 SS1 LE, which is my car. Now there's quite a horsepower difference. The ZL1 has 650 horsepower and 650 pounds of torque. The SS1 LE has 455 horsepower and 455 pounds of torque. So there's 200 pounds of torque difference and 200 horsepower difference, which is huge. Might be even insurmountable to overcome on a road course. And on drag strip, naturally the ZL1 would eat, eat me alive. The ZL1 does 11.7 seconds in a quarter mile right out of the factory. So that is really, really, really fast. And I'm, I'm thinking that the SS1 LE does high 12s, maybe 13. It's really not a drag car and it ever was meant to be. It's not geared for it. It's geared for road race. But the automatic, on the other hand, in, in Scott's car, is made for drag racing because that thing just, just shifts like a beast. And it only goes down like 200 RPM because it's, it's an 8-speed. So I think in a quarter mile, it probably shifts six, seven times, which is pretty crazy. So Palm Beach, where we're doing a shootout is Palm Beach International Raceway, which has a humongous straightaway. It's about five eighths of a mile long. And then it's got a twisty infield with maybe a quarter, another quarter mile straightaway on the infield and a bunch of turns, pretty tight turns and some, some pretty loopy turns, very, very like 180 degrees almost. Two of them. So that's where the S SS1 LE would shine. Now, in order for me to be able to be faster than that car, I cannot have that near me when I'm getting on a straightaway. So that means I have to fly through the infield and get a 20, 30 yard gap between me and it. And then, then I, I can beat it lap after lap because I'll be able to get the gas quicker, get down a straightaway quicker, and I can also break later into the first turn because the ZL1 is very front heavy. Between the supercharger, all the hardware, the intercoolers, and the automatic transmission, that car comes in at between four and 4,100 pounds. And the SS1 LE comes in at 3,700 pounds. So there's a three to 400 pound weight difference and almost all of that weight is up front. So that's a big disadvantage for the ZL1. <clears throat> so the SSL1 LE also has a better tuned suspension and it also has um, some bracing, aluminum bracing underneath the uh, car to stiffen the chassis. To stiffen the chassis, the better the suspension works because the chassis is not flexing. The, the springs and shocks are doing all the work. So you're going to see what happens in this video. Who's going to go? Who's going to be faster? Lap after lap. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end.
Hi guys, how you doing? So you saw the video. So the SS1 LE is faster at Palm Beach International Raceway. And it was exactly like I said, I had to make up the time on the infield. Now, Scott, when he saw me up his, up his rear end, knew I was faster. So he pointed me by because his car is faster on the straightaway, but he's got no chance on the infield because of all the weight up front. It's just, it's just, it's just the dynamics of it. All of that weight hinder, hinders the car, and my car is much more nimble. And you could see it going in and out of the turns. It almost looks like there's not even a horsepower difference on the tight turns because I could come out faster because I don't have all that weight up front. And, and oh, I also put the power down better because I have a better chassis. I was able to do that 20, 30 yard gap coming out onto the front straightaway. And at that point, there was no way unless I screwed up that he was going to catch me because I could break later into the, into the first turn and I accelerate quicker out of the first turn because he's not even accelerating and I'm already on the gas. So it would be almost impossible for him to catch me in the middle because he would run out of room because I break so late uh, and it would just be too hard. And lap after lap, I was probably about a half a second quicker than Scott and that's all because of the chassis because he's a pretty good driver and so am I. So it was, it was very interesting. I was very curious myself how we would do and that's the proof. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like. I'll see you soon.